The top story for this half hour. South Korea says it has expanded its air defense zone, which partially overlaps with a similar zone newly declared by China. Seoul says the new zone, which will take effect on December the 15th, would cover Yeodo, a submerged rock reef in the waters off the South Korean south coast, which China calls Suyan. The new zone is expected to spark Beijing's criticism as the airspace above the Seoul-controlled rock is also covered by that of Beijing's. China and South Korea are not the only countries in the region at odds over the defense zone. Japan's defense minister Itsunori Onadera has called on the international community to oppose China's maritime air defense zone over the East China Sea. The United States, Australia, South Korea and other countries have also expressed alarm over China's new air identification zone. Beijing says all aircraft entering the vast area must identify themselves and follow Chinese instructions. Joining us now on the line from Seoul is our correspondent Jennifer Chang. Jennifer, please uh, uh, tell us uh, and our viewers more about this uh, new defense air zone announced by South Korea, the fact that it overlaps the uh, air defense zone announced by China and the, uh, the timing of this announcement. All right, I believe we do not have uh, our correspondent Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Chang joining us. Uh, okay, if you're with us, uh, please, uh, please continue, uh, Jennifer, about the uh, new air defense zone announced by South Korea. Yeah, uh, South Korea just announced an hour ago a new expanded air defense zone. Um, this could fuel regional tensions heightened after China on November 23rd unilaterally created a new air zone that encroaches on those of its neighbors. Okay, very well. Uh, a South Korean uh, uh, response will not suffice in this case. We're now also going to cross over to our correspondent, Stephen Rubey, who's joining us uh, from Beijing. Stephen, this is uh, fresh news, of course, uh, but we would like to see uh, uh, what the Chinese response will be to the announcement uh, of this uh, air defense zone by South Korea. It seems that the South Koreans are, are giving the Chinese uh, a stare down. I don't think China will have any problem with this South Korean air defense identification zone. Um, it doesn't have any territorial disputes with South Korea. It will say we will, uh, my guess is that China will say we will follow your rules um, if we are in your air defense identification zone and we will expect you to follow our rules when you're in our air defense identification zone which means um, log your, tell us where you're going and maintain radio contact. China has long maintained that it's just doing what other countries have already done for a long time in imposing this air defense identification zone. It's there only for defensive purposes, uh, only to identify if an aircraft in that zone has hostile intent. So as I said, China doesn't have any territorial disputes with South Korea, and I don't think it will have a problem with South Korea's action. The only time it will have a problem with South Korea's action is if it feels that South Korea is using this to draw in the United States, um, ganging up on China, so to speak. But we haven't had yet had an official response from China, and I, I, I don't think, I think China might actually say, fine, um, you've set up a, a new expanded air defense identification zone, and we will respect it, and we expect you to respect ours We've got no problem with that. It might, it might, that might well be its response, just to encourage everybody else to respect China's new air defense identification zone. We'll wait and see. We haven't yet had a response from China. And also, if you can, just uh, uh, brush on topic of the uh, wider ramifications uh, of the air defense uh, zone that uh, China uh, had announced uh, previously. A, a number of countries are now voicing their opposition, adding to, uh, to the United States. We've got Australia, South Korea uh, in itself, uh, and, of course, Japan, which have so far expressed alarm over uh, China's new air identification zone. Well, um, the United States says it's not going to respect it, but in a way, it has. It has instructed its commercial airlines to abide by the rules of the zone. And it's not making its earlier demands that uh, China rescind this zone. That contrasts with the uh, complete opposition by Japan. 
The reason why Japan's not going to accept this zone is it, discover, it, it covers these disputed islands. Right. Um, if it accepts it, then it will have to negotiate with China how they deal with this overlapping area. Um, Japan says that the dispute over these islands is non-negotiable. A lot of people say the reason why China set up this zone is to force Japan to acknowledge that there is a dispute over these islands and negotiate, which Japan is saying it's not going to do. Thank you very much, Stephen. Press TV's Stephen Rebay joining us uh, from Beijing.